Swedish pop icons ABBA have found themselves embroiled in a dispute with former President Donald Trump over the unauthorized use of their music at his campaign rallies. The band, known for their global hits like, Waterloo, and, The Winner Takes It All, has formally requested that Trump cease using their songs. This move places ABBA among a growing list of artists who have objected to their music being associated with Trump's political events. The controversy began when ABBA discovered that their music and videos were being played at a Trump event, as evidenced by online videos. In a statement released to the Associated Press, the band made it clear that no permission or license had been granted for the use of their material. They promptly requested the removal of the content, emphasizing that they had not been approached for any authorization. In response, a spokesperson for the Trump campaign asserted that they had obtained the necessary licenses through agreements with major performing rights organizations like BMI and ASCAP. This defense highlights a common point of contention in the use of music at political events. While campaigns may acquire blanket licenses that allow them to play a wide range of music at events, this does not always sit well with the artists, who may object to their music being used in a context they do not support. Abbas stance aligns with that of numerous other artists who have taken issue with Trump's use of their music. In previous election cycles, high-profile musicians like Bruce Springsteen, Rihanna, and Farrell have all demanded that their songs be removed from Trump's campaign playlists. Even during this current cycle, artists like Celine Dion and Beyoncé have asked Trump to stop using their music. The legal landscape surrounding this issue is complex. Political campaigns are not always required to seek direct permission from artists if they have secured a blanket license for public performances. However, artists can still push back, especially if they believe the use of their music implies an endorsement or aligns them with political messages they do not support. This ongoing tension between artists and political campaigns underscores a broader issue within the music industry, artists' rights and the control they have over how their work is used. ABBA, with their decades-long legacy and international fame, are asserting their rights to ensure their music is not used in ways they do not condone. As the 2024 election campaign heats up, it remains to be seen how this issue will unfold. Will political campaigns continue to push the boundaries of music licensing, or will artists like Abba succeed in reclaiming control over the use of their creative works? What is clear is that Abba, alongside many other musicians, are determined to have the final say in how their music is used in the political arena. Stay subscribed for more videos.